Hello everybody, Will here again. This is uh, episode 2 of Will Interviews. Or Will Talks. Haven't really decided yet. Okay, so I got a couple questions to ask my friend Connor here. Alright, so Connor, let's uh, start this. Okay, right. question number one. What was your first COD? Uh, my first Call of Duty was Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Alright, question number two. What made you first start to play Call of Duty? Um, my brother walked home with Call of Duty 4 and uh, he started playing it and I was kind of interested in it and uh, he wanted to actually play it by himself for a little while and he gave me like Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3 to play while he was playing Call of Duty 4 and I played those and then when he was done I tried Call of Duty 4 and I really got interested in it really quick. Alright, that's cool. Question number three. What is your favorite game mode? Uh, my favorite game mode, if it's from Modern Warfare, it could be, uh, probably Search. And if it's Black Ops, it's probably Zombies. Alright. Is that Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2? Uh, probably both. Alright. Question number four. What is your favorite part about COD? Um, my favorite part about COD is that it's its own franchise and its own way. I mean, like, not because it's just its, like, uh, first-person shooter. There's other first-person shooter games out there, but this one kind of has its own little style. I mean, it's one, it was one of the first games that actually came out as a good FPS. And it has grown really quickly, and it has its kind of own style. I know I said that a million times, but... Uh, and it gets people involved in it really quickly, and it has its own storyline, and... Yeah. Alright. Question number five. What is... What's your favorite thing to do in COD, and why? Um... Probably play zombies or actually just play a multiplayer or yeah something like that all right I actually have another question to add into here do you have a favorite gun in call of duty uh depends what uh call of duty uh let's say black ops 2 um probably the mp7 because it's like it has a good rate of fire, but its accuracy is really off unless you have like a, a grip or something. Maybe the DSR, I'm not really good with that unless I'm like quick scoping or something, but yeah, probably the MP7. Okay, this is basically question number seven because of that one. Okay. If you could change anything about Call of Duty, what would it be? I would add a spawn timer, like spawn protection, because I've been always been spawn camped whenever I'm playing like double XP Nuketown on Black Ops 2 and I would keep getting constantly spawn camped and the only thing I really like uh no really dislike about Call of Duty is that it doesn't have its own uh spawn timer and I, that's why I mostly play Halo now well not now but I used to I took a break from Call of Duty and Halo has its own little spawn timer and I should really think they should add that into Call of Duty and like when you spawn you can clear out the spawn and run around into further in the map and go on. Alright. Question number eight. If Iron Man and the Hulk got in a fight, who do you think would win? Probably Iron Man. Alright. Question number nine. Do you watch any YouTubers on you or COD players on YouTube? Yeah, I watch uh, C Nanner's Syndicate mostly because of his uh, zombie uh, commentaries and breakdowns of trailers and such. And uh, Hutch, <laughs> such and Hutch. And uh, who else am I missing? C Nanner's Syndicate. Oh yeah, and uh, Swift Orb because he does those little like Michael Myers videos. And I actually was in one of them, but then he didn't upload it to YouTube, so I was like, oh whatever. But yeah. I watch those three most of the time, and if it's 
Other people, I probably forgot their username. Alrighty. Question number 10, I believe. Out of all the Call of Duties, which is your favorite? Uh, campaign wise or multiplayer? Uh, multiplayer. Uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Because I like the guns and the game modes, and like the guns, I don't know, it, it feels like. I got so adapted to the guns really quick, like the intervention was amazing, I love that gun. So with the FAMAS, and then when it was in like Black Ops, well not the intervention, but like the FAMAS, it kind of ruined it for me, so the only thing I don't really like about Modern Warfare 2 is that it doesn't have a theater mode, because if it did, I would probably still be playing Modern Warfare 2 and making clips if I had a PVR, but if... Uh, oh yeah, another thing I would probably add into COD is, uh, like a self-recorder for like live matches, not like theater mode, because in theater mode you can upload clips to YouTube, that's only a minute, but, uh, I wish it could they have like... They actually have that in Black Ops 2. Oh, really? Yeah, but you need a 720p TV. Oh wait, no, that's live stream, I, I meant like, not live stream, like record, like in game and like personally and then upload to youtube or something but i guess it could work uh -huh. off live stream and then like take it off the computer or something but yeah i really like monitor for two because of the intervention it has a really good gun all right last question do you have a youtube channel in fact i do and i do commentaries on it and it's not just normal commentaries i don't really do Call of Duty commentaries, I don't really want to because there's a lot out there. I really do, I mostly do indie games, probably if you don't know what indie is, it's like those really good games that nobody knows about, like Terraria is recently added on Xbox and is on PC for a long time and is on Steam for the computer, but no, nobody that plays console games really knew about it and I downloaded it and I was like, oh, what kind of genre is this game? It said indie and I picked up the indie genre on Steam and it, it has so much good games and I kind of want to do those like if you ever heard of Mad Father I'm trying to do that I only got to part three on that and nobody really watches them I am thinking of changing my channel but I actually don't know yet I probably shouldn't because it has like 51 videos on it but it does have 170 subscribers but I'm pretty sure like 150 them of them are like fake <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it it already has, like, 2K views, total views, so I guess I shouldn't, but, yeah, if you want to go subscribe to it, it's link in description. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the end of episode two of Will Interviews. Thanks yeah. for watching. See you guys next time.